Iraqi Development Organization. Mr. President, IDO and ADHRB wish to bring to the Council's attention the continued reprisals by Bahraini officials against various human rights defenders and their families. Throughout 2018, a number of individuals reported reprisals and threats against them relating to their participation in the Human Rights Council, including threats of physical violence, threats of public defamation, and threats of rape. Furthermore, Bahrain has continued to implement travel bans affecting a wide range of civil society actors. The case of human rights defender Syed Ahmed Awadai also illustrates the continuation of reprisals in Bahrain. Mr. Awadai's mother-in-law, brother-in-law, and cousin were detained in reprisal against Syed's continued advocacy and participation at the Human Rights Council. Awadai's relatives faced ill treatment and torture, including forced standing and beatings. Following her interrogation, Awadai's mother-in-law was rushed to the hospital after losing consciousness. Syed Ahmed's family members have all been charged with allegedly planting a fake bomb based on coerced confessions. Awadai's wife has also been similarly targeted with abuse while detained at the airport police station and was later tried in absentia. Their story is one of countless instances of reprisals in Bahrain. Considering the long history of these deeply concerning reprisals against human rights defenders relating to their ongoing engagement at the UN, we urge the Council to publicly denounce the government of Bahrain's continued practice of reprisals. Thank you. I thank you, madam, very much.